Jumbo. Jumbo. J-A-M-B-O. Jumbo. Hello. See Jumbo. See Jumbo. S-I-J-A-M-B-O. How are you? How are you? So that's Jumbo. Hello. See Jumbo. How are you? This is Pastor Louise Forche at www.livingwateroflgin, E-L-G-I-N dot org, O-R-G. You can also uh, visit www.pastorlouise.org. Forche, F O R S H E dot org, O R G. Today we will be studying Swahili, Jumbo and C Jumbo is Hello and How Are You in Swahili. Swahili is a language from East Africa and it is spoken in Uganda and Kenya. And before we get started today, I would su strongly suggest that you get a pen and a piece of paper and write the words down. I will spell them out for you. Learning a new language, you need to see the word in writing. It will help you with the pronunciation of the word when you see the word in writing. So when you pronounce the word and write the word, it helps you to remember the word. It also helps you to spell the word when you write the word. So let's get started. Today we will be studying K-A, L-A, and M-A words. And what I have done for you is to give you a little variety so you will understand and hear the sound. So the first set of words that we will do today is the K-A words. Now the first word is um, where the words start with K-A. And the second word starts with K-A. But the last word, the K-A, is kind of in the middle. So you can have a variety of how it sounds. So let's take the first word. Kak-ha-wa. 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 See, the K-A is kak. Kak. Kak-ha-wa. Kak hawa, kak hawa, kak hawa. That's K A H A W A. Now I'll spell it again. K A H A W A. K A H A W A. Kak hawa, kak hawa. And in English, it means coffee. Coffee. I want a cup of coffee. That's K A H A W A. Ka ha wa. 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 The next word is kan sa. Kan sa. Kan sa. Kan sa. That's K A N S A. K A N S A. K A N S A. Kansa. 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 Which in English that means cancer. Cancer. He has cancer of the bone. Cancer. Which in, in Swahili is pronounced kansa, 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 which is K A 
N-S-A. The last word that we will pronounce of the K-A word, this word is kind of in the middle. It's spelled M-K-A-T-E. 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 And it means, it's pronounced makate. 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 Makate means bread in English. Bread. 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 Jesus is the bread of life. Jesus is bread from heaven. Uh, makate. 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 M K A T E. Makate. 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 Now let's move on. The next set of words, the L A, the L A will be at the end of the word. Okay. Chakula. 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 You spell it C H A K U L A. C H A K U L A. Chakula. 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 Chakula means food. Food in English. Food. Chakula. 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 C H A K U L A. The L A is on the end. Chakula. Chakula. Which means food in English. When you go to Swahili, you want to remember that word. Chakula. 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 Which means food. The next word is kila. 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 Which means in English it's spelled. Um, first I will tell you it means every. Like every day. Every. Every time. Every day. Every time. Let's spell the word. K-I-L-A. 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 Kila. 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 Which means every, 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 every day, every time. The last L-A word at the end is wala, 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 w-a-l-a, 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 wala, 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 in English it means neither. Neither. I don't want neither one of them. Neither. That's wa la. Wa la. Wa la. W A L A. Wa la. Wa la. The last set of words that we're going to look at today is the M A words. The M A words. And the first word is ma pu pa. Ma pu pa, 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 
Mapupa is spelled M A P U P A. 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 Ma Pu Pa. 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 Ma Pu Pa in English means bone, like the bone of the body. Bone, B O N E, bone. Ma Pu Pa. Ma Pu Pa. Ma Pu Pa. M A P U P A. Ma Pu Pa. Ma Pu Pa. Ma Pu Pa. The next word uh, is found in the Bible. It's one of the books of the Bible. It's in the New Testament. And it's one of the books of the Gospel. Marco. 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 That's M A R K O. M A R K O. M A R K O. Marco. 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 Marco means mark in the um, English Bible. It means mark, which is the New Testament and one of the books of the Gospel. It's the second book of the Gospel because it's Matthews, Mark, Luke, and John. So it's Marco, 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 M A R K O, Marco, M A R K O, M A R K O, Marco. And the a uh, good way to remember this word, just remember the English word and just put an O on the end, Marco. The last M-A word that we're going to look at today is Matunda, 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 Matunda. That's M-A-T-U-N-D-A, 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 M-A. T U N D A Matunda Matunda D A D A is on the end. Ma M A is at the beginning. Tun T U N Matunda 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 M A T U N D A That's M A T U N D A. I'll spell it one more time. M A T U N D A. Matunda. 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 Matunda in English, it would mean fruit. 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 Okay, that is all. For the day, Mungu a Kupariki. Mungu a Kupariki in English it means God bless you. God bless you. Ha Harry. Ha Harry. Ha Harry means goodbye. Ha Harry. Goodbye.